So I'm starting to add in some of the lines that will create the patterns in the wings. The wings in the pale morning dawn are really beautiful. They have really gorgeous golden kind of sunset hues and a dusky pink. One of the things that I often find when I'm studying animals or studying nature in general are patterns. And as I'm coming in and creating the veins that make up the patterns in this mayfly, it's reminding me of a watershed map or how our rivers actually flow. So we have them starting out in the headwaters and they come in, here's a tributary, it joins creating that little V pointing downstream and comes in there. I've also seen this pattern in butterfly wings and in leaves. This one looks like that. So every organism, every individual organism is unique. It's funny, as my little river lines create her wings. We'll add in a few on this wing as well. <clears throat> So at this point we're ready for our stipple or our dots and the easiest thing to do is to go along the exterior lines and just create your series of dots and you'll notice with the head that it's already starting to take on more of that rounded shape. In my video I'll Stop for a moment so you don't have to watch me make dots for 20 minutes because that would be very boring. But I just want to give you a few techniques here. Yeah, just following those lines, kind of using that as an outline. Then we can go in and gradually spread the dots out a little bit, but they're the tightest by the exterior lines. And then with this, I'll just actually fill in quite a big section of the eye, leaving a few little white spots to catch that light reflection. Anime is really good at that. That's why all their characters look so cute. So as you can see, I've been able to add a lot of the stipple and shading in through the dot technique. I've put some into the wings and along most of the exterior lines, making some a little bit thicker than others. And that's about as far as I'm gonna go with stipple. You can complete the whole drawing with stipple if you'd like. Uh, I have a lot of black and whites that I love, um, but I also wanted to show you a few coloring techniques. Just getting rid of a few of my pencil lines here before I get my colors out. Okay, so I am going to be using a lot of uh, oil pastels and I'm just gonna bring kind of a pretty orangish yellow color up along the top of my wing. The fun thing about oil pastels is that you can blend them. So they create a very pretty little faint hue that blends in well together. And the Pale Morning Dawn has this color just in a lot of places throughout. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this primarily as my base color. 
And the other nice thing with pastels is if you are using ink, they go right over the ink and don't smear the ink. I do sometimes use watercolors over ink. Uh, just have to let the ink dry first and just be a little careful because they do tend to smear a little. So I'm gonna follow some of my lines here just to give these wings a little bit of color. There's a lot of transparency with these wings, but they're not completely clear, which makes this one of my favorite mayflies. It's so pretty. Can't forget this little back wing. And the smear stick works really nicely for this as well. So I'm gonna come along the abdomen. Kind of go through each segment. So all the areas that would naturally be dark end up staying dark. And really, it's kind of nice. You can just kind of follow the outlines that you've already created. And that will do a really nice job of shading in this mayfly and also leaving a few light spots to create that reflection. I'll open a lot of the lines here, so I'm gonna just give that a little erase, clean it up a little bit. And then I'm gonna come in with this pretty pink color and add that into the wings. And bring it down to here. Make sure I find a clean finger. Fun thing about art is it's not an exact science. So you get to be a little messy and play. Bring your pink in here. And then I'm just gonna do a few little yellow highlights. Just to make a few areas. And again, we all go out of line sometimes. I'll come back and clean that up. Okay. So the last spot I'll add is just a little of this kind of dark or darker kind of burnt brown color. things that I often do is, is I find some really nice photos online of actual macros to help me as a guide when I'm drawing. And her tail is pretty transparent. So there's not going to be, I'm not going to really do any um, shading with the tail. Uh, I might just add, just for consistency, so it looks like I didn't forget it, a few last little dots here. And there you have it. There is your pale morning dawn. Just need to sign your name when you're done. Megan and Dean, thanks for joining me and have fun on your art adventures and learning all about the river.